Okay. Yeah, here we have an Enco uh, three in one combination lathe, mill, and drill press. Yeah, the model number on it is 3281308. And it appears to be unused. However, it got a little bashed up during shipping. So it has shipping distress, is what we call it. Um, as you can see, the box here got pretty bent up. All right, as long as the switch box. Amazingly enough, nothing really happened inside. Um, this is this little clutch. This is your clutch for the lathe. Uh, if you want to switch it over to the drill press, um, it got a little bent, but it doesn't affect the operation. It's a little tricky getting in and out. We're going to show you that in a minute here, but you can probably replace the box. You can have to do a, pull a lot of gears and pulleys out, but it it can be fixed. Um, couldn't find anything else, you know, with it uh, except for the motor shroud. Uh, it's just a little dent right here. It's a little dusty, a little dirty. Nothing made here on it. We tested all the components. They appear to work, you know, fine. So it's a 115 volt, three, three quarter horsepower motor. Um, so anyway, we have it powered up. So you can watch, watch it run. Just check some of the functions here. So. We're going to work on the lathe section here, so, and as you can see, the lathe section works pretty good. Um, there are some metric change, change gears in here, and there's a belt setting on here, so you can go at different speeds. And uh, you have your threading gears right here. Uh, they come with spare uh, threading gears for different, uh, it depends on what type of thread you're doing, or your, your feed rate. So anyway, we managed to get that all working there. So as you can see, the apron's moving along. Right there, it's, it's a little bit slower speed. There's two speeds here. Right there, that's the higher speed. That's forward. Now this is reverse. Okay. There we go. So there's the apron moving right now. And there's your, your threading part right there. Alright, so that all moves um, as well as your cross feed right here. That operates fine. Okay, shut the machine off. All we did is we push this little clutch in here like this and lock it in. Now it's a little tricky to do. You got to get it just right. Um, we're going to give it a try. It doesn't look like it's going to turn, but it does work. For some reason it's not working for me right now. So, but let's try it one more time here. Yeah, sometimes this just doesn't want to go in. Oh, there we go. All right, so there we go. Now you have a drill press. Okay. You have a dial here you can utilize for your quill to go up and down. Now you can do the uh, quill feed manually also. All right. So this dial works. Everything seems to operate on it relatively well. So the speed control it also works. That's this is for your lathe. Portion of it. Okay, goes in forward and reverse. Okay. So basically, it's really cosmetic damage. Um, it, it's amazingly, it just it works great. Um, it also includes a backing plate, an adapter plate, and here's all your change gears. All this little baggie right here. There's a handle here. We're not quite sure where this goes. There is no instruction manuals. You probably have to contact ENCO uh, to get one. I couldn't find one online. So there you have it. The three-quarter horsepower, three-in-one, lathe, mill, drill press combination. And we thank you for looking at our product.